today I'm up to something pretty unusual, something I have never tried before. I'm going to be painting with a glue gun. It's winter time and I've been craving some snow. So it's going to be a wonderful snowy landscape. This piece is on my website abcreativeofficial.com if you would like to own it. I am going to sketch some trees freehand. I was thinking first of Christmas trees, but I think it's going to be too much because I've decided to make a deer. I think my trees are going to be growing to the very end here. Okay, the deer. I'm going to sketch it first because I don't want to rub it off 20 times. I've been making the tree much chunkier. I want those ones in the front to be really thick. Again, because I'm going to use glue gun, <laughs> it's not going to be exactly the same. Let me transfer it. This is a um, soft graphite pencil 2B. If I had 4B, it would be even better. There we go, there's some snow going here. How about two like birch trees? Now I've got a little bit of a problem. I could use the glue stick, so I am going to cut it off. Last thing I want is to destroy my lovely glue. Oh, okay, I don't want to waste my gold. I could make something, maybe some little flowers and keep them for later. I haven't made glue gun flowers yet like this. You can make so many little things. Well, I'm ready to do all the trees. Let me start with this one. Because it's a tree, it can be as wonky as I wish, <laughs> because the tree will be gnarly and that's fine. I'll try to get to the top somehow. I'm going to fill it up, you know. I can do it really quickly. This is so much fun because I don't have to be so precise. The last tree I made was this silver tree of life, which was, well, quite a precision work, unlike this one. If you haven't watched it, you can see it on the screen. All right, so we've got one. Let me add the branches. I can actually fill it up first and then add branches. How am I going to fill it up? In streaks to make it more sort of uneven or... Or like a puddle of glue. I'm not sure. And yes, I'm going to use quite a lot of glue for this one. If I do it just like that, and I'll try to make it slightly uneven, I'm trying to make it a bit more bumpy. Now I am messing around with the tree. I am scratching it and adding more glue. I want to create the tree bark. I'm very close to finishing my trees. If you touch any section just with a nozzle, create some pattern or indents in the glue. I just draw on it. That creates marks. The more I thought about it, I'm actually convinced that it's better for me to try the deer on the mat. I don't think I want to risk it here. What if something goes wrong? I'll have to peel it off. So this is my silicone mat again. I'm not sure how I want to do it. Do I want to fill him up like full of glue? I don't know. I've never made an animal filled with glue gun. Last time I was using golden glue sticks so you, you could see better. Okay, that should be easier. I might even fill the legs straight away full of glue, you know. They still didn't solve the problem what to do with the inside of the deer. But we'll get there, we'll get there. I've been procrastinating and <laughs> waiting, but I have to have a go. Let me fill it up. Let's start with the ear because this is the easiest. Okay, now I need to fill the head somehow without go this way. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, my bad, my bad. What have I done? How is that? Should I torch it? So many air bubbles. Why? I don't know. Can I torch it or not? Nah, probably sh not the best idea. What if I poke them? Okay. We've got a very chunky deer. <laughs> you know what? It might actually work. 
it might work. I think it's a crazy experiment. Has anybody tried something like that before? I'm curious. Oh my goodness. We've got the last leg too. Okay. The good news is that the glue is kind of melting together. Wow. <laughs> the legs are so easy comparing to the body, you know. Okay, well, we've got a reindeer. No, not a reindeer, we've got a deer. Let's peel him off. Oh, yeah, I've got those hairy bits. I think I'm happy with him. I'm about to glue him on and then I realise, yes, of course, when I was following my design with glue gun, I did it on the reverse, which, to be honest, doesn't matter. I'm happy with this side as well. I think he's going to go here, maybe touching, just touching the tree to make it more interesting. What do you think? And this is my glue, diamond glaze. Glue is going to be glued down. Press it down for some time. I was so tempted to paint it straight away, but then I forgot about the snow. Of course I need to add the snow. I don't think I'm going to cover the whole ground with glue gun. I'm going to use heavy gesso, apply some texture in places, especially here and around his feet. I know I'll have to wait for it to get dry till tomorrow, but I think I can survive that. Let's... Make some snow. I think I'm going to apply it just in places, not everywhere. This is what we have at the moment. And I am considering my options. I was thinking of pouring over it using my hairdryer, one of my favorite techniques. Let me mix some paints and yes, we'll be using the hairdryer. On the other hand, and now when I see the tree bark, I couldn't wish for better effects. Look at that. I always keep some leftover paint, even a small amount from my previous paintings, because you never know when it might become handy. And yes, you can keep it for a couple of weeks, absolutely. These are already tinted with white, so we had this was Prussian blue with titanium white, a little bit of ultramarine that I might also add. So some blues, leftover blues, hint of Mars black in titanium white, purple. I've got my white now, one part of paint, two parts of floatrol and a bit of water. It's pretty runny. It's a nice stream. And now I'm going to add white to all those colors. Oh, by the way, if you don't know, this is my favourite colour. If you haven't noticed, that's the colour of my channel. We've got very light grey here now. Maybe I'm going to add some iridescent medium to give a little bit of a sparkle. That's it. I don't often use it because I do like using metallic colours, but since I haven't made silver, add it here. Quite thickish, so perhaps I'll have to add some more water. It's going to be snowy on my painting, so maybe I'll add this to every color. <laughs> Paints are ready, and I'm hoping I've got enough. Putting the canvas higher. I also wonder does anybody sit while using a hairdryer? I have to stand above, that's why my voice gets sometimes a bit strange because I'm too close to the microphone. Then let me just pour the paint in between the trees so that I know everything gets covered. I am wondering whether I have enough, honestly, because there's so many 3D elements. If I end up mixing more, so be it. Okay, more of this lovely blue. Let's move it this way first. And then it touches the bottom. Uh, yes, I could have used cardboard to touch it, but I do like using my fingers. 
You probably know it by now. <laughs> Do get messy. All right, maybe, maybe I have enough. I also don't like wasting paint, so we'll be collecting all the leftover and putting it in another little container, of course. Love the colors, honestly. Bit of white, but not too much. No blue, dark blue, perhaps here. All right, hair dryer time. I'm not going to use my lovely new flower. I'm going to use my old friend. And I think you can guess why. And the flower would be perfect if it was a Dutch pool and I was blowing on a flat surface. However, with that amount of detail, uh, crevices, there's no way the flower could handle that. So my crazy contraption, and please, please don't make anything that silly. It's actually dangerous. I'm in love with the colours, honestly. I quite like this mess here. I should be blowing down because I want to get rid of some of the paint, but I quite like this. Mm, maybe let's just move the paint some more. It's not as much as I thought. Okay, as I said, if it drips down, that's absolutely fine. I'm collecting it anyway. Uh, I wanted a really small amount of paint, that's why I was blowing and blowing. However, I am going to add a bit more white here and I'll move in this direction. I'm happy to like this craziness here. I'm going to cover the edges. I've got drips here, that's enough. And I'm going to blow on this section or use a palette knife. That's enough. All right. Okay, so time to do the edges. I love using the same colors that drip down. It's less than 24 hours. There are only a couple of patches that are still wet, you can see here. The rest is basically dry. Beautiful colors. It leads there, doesn't it? I was trying, I was trying, but it actually looks really nice once it's completely dry. It's going to be awesome. I could try applying some gesso onto my trees because now I want snow on them. I want the trees to be mainly white and the deer as well. There'll be some snow on him. Let's try with a brush first. I make a mistake. Let's have a... Let's have a wipe ready. Okay. So I'll try here. I could. Oh yeah, okay. It's going to fill nicely some sections. Could leave bigger lumps later at the moment. Spreading some gesso. Now I'm deciding how much I really want to be seen. Okay, that was my guinea pig I wanted to fill some of the crevices a bit more okay I'm liking it I'm going to repeat it with the rest of the trees it's trying to apply some white onto him fingers seem to be the best this is still gesso I could leave it like this white, but I think I'm going to wipe off. I, I want to see some of the color of the tree, you know, that's why. I've got the same colors as I used for the background, but not in the liquid form. And I am using white mixing with these, because I do want to go over the trees with a little bit of lighter shadow. I mean, lighter highlight. See, that's the same color as the background, but lighter. 
going to go over my trees. Perhaps need a smaller brush. And yes, it's easier using my finger here. It's a bit like using gold, you know, on different paintings. Making the smaller trees a bit darker. Lighter than the background, but darker than the closest tree. When I was pouring, part of the trees became part of the background in a way. Now I'm trying to differentiate them a bit. Last week I had so much fun. If you haven't watched my video, that was a totally different one. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Some amazing textures. I must say, so far that's my favourite painting. And I'm talking about all my tutorials so far. So it's different. It's more, more in my personal style. Why is it so different? Because I was asked to make a prop for a film. I was told roughly what the expectations were and then I added my own twist to it. I'm adding some shadows now to make my trees pop. <laughs> Every time I paint I decide where the source of light is. So it's coming from the left Therefore, every right side of the tree is slightly darker, as you can see that. I actually painted with the glue gun. That's what it is this time. The fact that it's already bluish greyish, it's good because that's basically what I wanted. I like that white patch on the hair. I'm going to keep it, I think. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm really in love with the colours. I love the pastels and the blues, of course, and purples. I hope you like it too. If you'd like to see much more, you can head over to my Patreon. There's a link in the video's description. You can also go to my website and you can own this piece. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.